Hey guys, I am going to show you how to get VR working with Star Atlas. Um, if you're in the VR community, you might have heard about this uh, this app, this injector that a modder named uh, Prey Dog, is that his name? Yeah, Prey Dog made, um, and it works with any Unreal Engine game. So if you've if you've seen like Vorpix before, worked with the Vorpix or something like that, it's a very similar setup, similar interface but it works way better. And it only works with Unreal Engine games, but it's almost like it's native VR. It works amazing. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to set that up today. Uh, the link in the video description will get you this zip file. So you just open it up, um, just extract it. I'm just gonna go on my desktop, open it up, and I'm gonna run the injector. Okay, got that going. Um, I'm going to click this button, Restart as Administrator. You can run as an administrator initially. Um, okay, the next thing I need, I'm using Steam VR, so I'm going to turn on VR mode. Okay, got Steam VR running. Um, and then I just need to launch the game. Okay, so here I am in the game. Um, first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is go to options, graphics, and I turned it all the way down to low, and I turn on DLSS. Um, depending on your system, this game's already you know pretty graphically intensive and VR makes it even harder. Um, so play with that. Okay, so that's up and running. I'm gonna go back to my injector. And I am going to find, on my drop down, I'm going to find Star Atlas. Boom. And then I click Inject. And at this point, I can put on my headset. Okay, I've got my headset on. I'm in the game um, at the main menu. I'm facing the wrong way. Um, so what you need to do is you can recenter view. So I can click on that, and it flips me around. So now I am looking at the the guy in my ship. Um, you can reset these as well. Um, and then a handy thing to do is go to input or keybinds rather, and you can set the re recenter key to a to a, a keyboard key. I I use home. Um, and then insert by default toggles this menu on and off. And then from there I'm pretty much good to go. One thing in the in the headset, I can't see my mouse cursor in menus for some reason, but I can just kind of peek. Um, I'm gonna go experimental. Oh, I'm gonna pick my ship. Go to crew. Sure, support, great. Hangar. Set that one. Okay. And now I can play. I'm gonna do uh, track A. And here I am. So I can look around. It's third person right now. I can see my character. Um, I can go first person if I want. I can run around. Um, all the, the, the HUD is all there. Um, on the screen, it's just um, look what you see on, on, the, on the video on the screen is it's kind of plastered, stuck to the screen but in the headset it's like there in 3d space like i can look around and see my hud run around and shoot um spawn my ship um now one thing one little hitch that i found um is that when you, when you get on a ship, there's like this ghosty, like overlay. You guys see that? It's kind of annoying. Um, so there's a way to get rid of that. So if I open up this menu, insert, I go to Unreal, and I change it from native stereo to synchronized sequential, um, it gets rid of that. It doesn't. It 
it doesn't look as nice like the rendering quality gets diminished a little bit which is unfortunate um, but I think I know why that happens and I think we can probably fix it in the next update but this works pretty good for now so insert to hide that I'm gonna go first person and woof. I am off to the races it's just this way And I've already gone in and set the video quality, mess with the settings. I turned on uh, NVIDIA DLSS and changed it from medium to high. But I mean, this is pretty compelling. I need to I need to buy more ships because <laughs> I want to see them all in VR now. But yeah. It's really cool. You can look around, see where, you're, look into your turn, see where you're going. Really nice. So here's a little clip of me flying the Floyd Liner, looking out the window. Pretty cool. And this is a clip of me playing third-person shooter bot battle. I kind of thought with the third-person view, it would be weird or make me sick or something, but it, it doesn't. That's nice. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> I am very high. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, super simple to set up. Um, shout out to Prey Dog, really cool. Um, yeah, I look forward to playing playing with this more. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll try and help.